International Rescue. They have invaded me again. The pigs. Every step of the way, I am defeated. But they will get lucky. No more! The Skyship One voyage was nearly a success. And I had them where I wanted them. But again, International Rescue got lucky. Now using a Tiger Moth biplane. Pathetic. I will stand for them no longer. This time I will leave no room for error. Luck won't be enough for them this time. Shiva, help me. Give me the power to destroy them. This is Captain Black. Relaying instructions from the Mr. Ons. You cannot deny my presence, Earthman. Hello? Who's there? Have you answered my call? We are here to help you. Here to help me? <laughs> How can you help me? How did you get me? We are the Mysterons. There are no earthly barriers we cannot pass. Primitive human beings like you cannot stop us. Don't call me primitive. Mysterons or not, I have powers you can't even imagine. I can sense you're not from this earth, are you? Exactly. We come from the planet Mars. We are here to take revenge on the human usurpers. The Spectrum Organization. We require your assistance. My assistance? How so? We believe we have a common purpose. International Rescue is your sworn enemy. Spectrum is ours. If we can assist each other, we both could achieve our revenge. What do you know of these pigs with their six incredible, just Thunderbird machines and their endless attempts to kill me? Both International Rescue and Spectrum help to ensure order and stability across this pitiful planet. Your goal is the same as ours. Chaos. Through chaos you can advance your own ends as can we. Chaos is what you need to destroy international rescue. Okay. I say I go along with your plan. There was one thing you must understand. When we stand victorious, I'm going to kill International Rescue. And you should not do anything to stop me. For me, this is personal. Agreed. We have determined a weakness in International Rescue strategy. One of their members pilots a 1930s Tiger Moth biplane. It is highly exposed and would be easy to shoot down. This is war. And first, there must be casualties. I'm like this plan, ready. For international rescue, this will be their final shot.
Thunderbird 1 from Thunderbird 6. Okay, Scott, I've got the last four passengers. Right now. Now get out of there quick. There's not much time. Okay, guys. Hold tight! Okay, as soon as Thunderbird 1 and 2 fly over the airfield to collect the tiger, we attack it with those. Are you sure you don't want us to clone the Thunderbird machines themselves? That'll really make it look as if International Rescue really destroyed their own craft. No, that would mean destroying them first. It's too early for that. We destroyed the tiger. Even though chances are its pilot will perish it away to safety. Now, when I give you the command, use those planes. As you wish. Is everyone alright? We're all okay, thank you, sir. I demand to be taken to one of your proper aircrafts. Being rescued by this inferno contraption is a disgrace. It can hardly be very safe, can it? Absolutely. It could have gone ablaze, just as much as the Fire Flash aircraft. The instant I saw this craft, I thought we weren't going to make it. So did I. Pathetic machine. But at least we still all got here safe. That's the most important thing. Actually, good point. We once again thank you guys for your invaluable help. Without you, we probably wouldn't have made it. We're glad we could be of assistance. Anyway, as soon as Thunderbirds 1 and 2 arrive, we'll take you lot to where you plan to go. Including you guys who are flying home from America. That's very kind of you, sir. And you can do that with the rest of the passengers. But I think after that dodgy rescue of your Tiger Moth craft, I think the four of us are quite capable taking ourselves. Oh, um, are you sure? Oh yeah, quite sure. Come on guys, we're going. That's the best thing that's for that. Hey, well, at least we were safe. Thunderbird 1 to base. Dad, all passengers and crew of the Fire Flash have been evacuated. What about the evacuation of the Sea Life Tower? Well, I just received the okay. You can let the fire flash go. Great. Did you hear that, Virgil? I heard. Right. Release cables on five second countdown. That may be. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Get into our planes and destroy the tiger. Not yet. Thunderbird 2 will at this moment be taking the passengers back to the safety of the nearest town. We'll do it as soon as it comes back to collect the tiger. Right. Get in your planes and destroy the tiger. Scott from Alan. I feel a little uneasy. How so, Alan? Anything wrong? Well, we used Thunderbird 6, an old biplane and nothing more. Was it wise to even approve it to begin with? The rescue people came out and gave me some stick. Heck, Fallen went off in disgust. 
I'm sorry, Alan. But the rescue came just before Brains could finally go and modify it to be as strong as the other aircrafts. Ah, uh, it's always the rescues that come first. Yeah, well, the sooner we get it back to base and get Brains to fix it up, the better. Anyway, the important thing is that during this assignment, luckily, nothing went wrong. What the? Alan to Scott, emergency! I'm under attack from what looks like some planes from the army. Alan, get out of here quickly. I'll get everyone and Virgil and I will give you assistance. FAB? This is going on. Virgil, you're gonna get here quick. Alan appears to be under attack from army planes. But don't attack him yourself unless I say so. That may be. Thunderbird 6 from Thunderbird 1. We'll be with you as quickly as we can. You might be under attack from Spectrum's enemy, the Mr. Arms. Okay, Scott. I'm going to try a few violent maneuvers. Be careful, Adam. That tiger isn't a strong craft. The Mr. Arms? I've been hit! I've been hit! Alan, listen to me. You've got to get out of there now! What? Activating emergency jets! Alan, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. But the tiger has been destroyed. What was that? It sounded like planes and explosions. Like the Thunderbird machines were flying around with army planes. It was like they were attacking each other. Don't be stupid. International rescue, nor the army of any country, have got anything against each other. I don't think. You're absolutely right. The army hasn't got anything against international rescue. We have. I beg your pardon? What, the Dickens? Me and international rescue are arch enemies. And you so happen to be part of my plan to get rid of them once and for all. I still don't understand what you're saying. What do you mean, Arch Shannon? Me. We must be careful with my powers. Using them will make me even weaker than I am now. Now, to wait for Captain Black with the next few hostages, the public will not know what happened to those poor people. They only know that International Rescue were here at the time they disappeared.
So what could have happened then, Mr. Tracy? Well, Tintin, I was only told by Scott that there was an attack from army planes, and it ended with Thunderbird 6 being destroyed. You mean the Tiger? Alan's precious aircraft? That's terrible, just as it was about to be modified. Yeah, well, I was beginning to think that it couldn't be a good rescue aircraft after all. I mean, it's just an old biplane from the 1930s. Couldn't think of anything more ridiculous to approve. What's next? A steam engine? All right, Gordon. That will do. I wonder how Alan is feeling right now. We'll probably soon find out. I can hear the Thunderbirds returning now. Hello, Father. Virgin Lennon will be here in a moment. Please be careful with Alan. He might, you know. I understand, Scott. So what happened? Well, Father, we finished the rescue operation, and we took the passengers back to the safety of the nearest town. Four of them went off in a huff because we used the tiger to rescue them. But they should be all right. Anyway, after all that, we were about to pick up Alan when he was surrounded by what looked like planes from the army. Mind you, when I looked inside the cockpits, it looked like they were piloted by Mr. Arms. Mistrons? You mean the enemy of Captain Scarlet and the Spectrum Organization? Oh well, yes, I mean I could see nothing in the cockpit apart from two lights. Anyway, I can hear Virgil and Alan coming now. Hi boys. Hi Dad. Hi Dad. What a terrible rescue operation this turned out to be. Steady, Alan. I won't be steady. Do you realize how big a risk it was? Trying to rescue all those victims from a fire blazing fire flash? Five at a time? using a pathetically unsuitable biplane. Well, Alan, the important thing is that they were rescued. I know, they would have perished in the flames if it weren't for us. But using a useless plane to rescue them, we all could have perished. I know it's our only craft that can go on the top of a dangerously balancing aircraft, but- uh, Alan, please. Maybe if you and Brains didn't spend all that Alan. time rebuilding Fab One or approving this stupid old tiger, there wouldn't have been all this trouble. Alan. The reason why I approved the Tiger was because it was light enough to get the surviving members of Skyship 1 off. The rest of our equipment would have put the whole thing off balance and killed them all. No. The only reason why you approved the Tiger was because Brains was going through all those designs to try and get a good, useful vehicle. You rejected them all. You were spoilt for choice. Brains lost his temper, gave up designing, and we ended up with a stupid outdated tiger! I mean, what was going on in your head, Dad? What would Mum say? Her death may have inspired you to create this organization, but if she saw you now with your idiotic decisions... Ugh. First step is complete. Get off me. I said get off. Yeah, what's the point?
right of all this. Let me go. Got two more here for you, bud. Well done, Captain Black. Send them over here with the others. Look, there's no need to do this to us. Yeah? I'll report this to the police. Yes. Six people taken away from International Rescue's recent rescue operation. Now, all we need to do is wait for International Rescue to be blamed. Hey, Arnold. It's only us, Mr. Tracy sent us. How are you feeling, uh, uh, Alan? Hi, Brains. Hi, Tintin. I shouldn't have yelled at Dad like that. Is he alright? Oh, he's fine. Just having a moment after the reminder of his late wife. Uh, I'm sorry about the tiger. I uh, probably should have been more uh, civil and agreed to try again. So, what are we going to do now about a Thunderbird 6? We'll see what we can do for a r replacement later on. B -b -b right n -n now, we've g -g got a mystery uh, about those Mysterons to be uh, solved. Gee, thanks, Brains. Mr. Tracy, have you seen the latest world paper? Ah, uh, about time to. Is something wrong? I don't know. But I don't think it's good news. Right. Well, let's have a look at it then, shall we? What the blazes? International Rescue steals planes from the army and destroy their own Tiger Moth rescue craft? You're right, Your Honor. This doesn't sound good. What? Six British victims of Fireflash airliner disappear after International Rescue's latest mission. It's terrible. An outrage! What is it, Dad? Scott, let's take a look at this. Now that is an outrage. I know. I've got a terrible feeling that someone is trying to frame us. As far as the world is concerned, we have kidnapped the six victims and we somehow decided to destroy the tiger. We might be caught up in something that is going to terrorize our entire organization. What about the Mr. Ant? I don't know. And I'm not sure if Spectre and themselves know why. This is the voice of the Mr. Ants. We know that you can hear us, Earthman. We are currently sided with a man called the Hood, enemy of the International Rescue Organization. International Rescue will be our target to destroy. It has also been agreed when we succeed. The Hood will help us destroy you. It's all too puzzling and difficult for me to believe. I couldn't agree more, Colonel. Fancy the Mysterons wanting to destroy International Rescue on behalf of the Hood. Who is this Hood anyway? What has he got against International Rescue? And would the Mysterons really help him? That I couldn't say for sure, Captain Scarlet. But the Mysterons did confirm that if they help this Hood guy destroy International Rescue, the Hood will help them destroy us. What should we do? For the moment, nothing. I do wonder what the godforsaken heck this is all about, and more importantly, what either the Hood or the Mysterion's next step is going to be. Calling International Rescue! Calling International Rescue! This is International Rescue, receiving your call. Go ahead, please. Want to find out who's calling, eh? Who is this? Well, you pigs. All you need to know is you tried to kill me every time. I've tried to find out your secrets, as you probably heard. 
You've been blamed for destroying the pathetic Tiger Moth biplane, and for kidnapping six hostages from your recent rescue. At least, that's what the world's guessing right now. After their disappearances. Well, I'm here to tell you that you've only got one choice. One choice only. Reveal your true identity to the entire world. If you don't, I and the Mr. Ones will find and destroy you. Even your secret base in the Pacific. That is all. This is not... Mr. Tracy. The whole thing is preposterous. So you say that the Hood and the Mistrons are going to find your base and possibly destroy it? That's right, Colonel. Anything can happen. So, have you agreed with what I propose you to do? Yes, Mr. Tracy. I will send two of our trusted Spectrum members to Lady Penelope's and see if they can be of any assistance to the boys. Like he said, this is your biggest emergency yet. <laughs> Right. This is one of the most toughest missions in our history, but if we're to protect ourselves from this hood maniac, then we've got to act fast. Are you sure about this, Father? Setting up a press conference and revealing yourself as part of the organization? Yes. I mean, you've said so many times that we've got to remain a secret organization. This might be the only way of sorting this whole thing out. The hood is now framing us, and I'm the only one who can get the truth out there. But Father! What if they arrest you? I may just have to take everything as it comes. Now, this... Go ahead, John. Father, I've just discovered that Thunderbird 5's an electronic clock to avoid detection from ground-based radar or other spacecraft sensor systems has been hacked into. But that's impossible. Who the blazes could have done that? And how? Maybe the Hood or the Mistrons. I don't know how. Thanks, John. I'll send one of the boys to help you as soon as I can. Get yourself ready to go, and keep in touch. F.A.B. Right. After that bad news, this is what we do. Scott? Yes, sir? Launch Thunderbird 1 and proceed to Lady Penelope's. Take Kirano with you. Yes, sir! Come on, Kirano. Virgil? Yes, sir? Launch Thunderbird 2 and take all six parts in turn to Lady Penelope's. Penelope and Parker will find obscure places to hide them there. Yes, sir. And take Gordon, Brains, and Grandma with you. Are you sure about this, Jeff? I'm positive, Mother. Now go with them. The boys will show you to the Thunderbird 2 passenger chute. Okay. Alan, Tintin. Yes, Father? Yes, Mr. Tracy? Launch Thunderbird 3 and go up to Thunderbird 5 to collect John before it meets its possible destruction. I don't know what's going to happen when all this is over, but... Yes, I know, Father. I understand, Mr. Tracy. Alan? Yes, Dad? You were right about Mom. If she saw the tiger as a rescue craft, she would have thought I was mad. Then again, I don't know how she would feel with all this happening. I know, Father. Right, this is it, boys. Thunderbirds are go!
Ready for takeoff, Father. Okay, Scott. Yes, sir. Thunderbird 1 to base. I'm at maximum speed now, Father. I should be at Crichton Ward Mansion in about half an hour from now. Okay, Parker. Thunderbird 1 will be here in a few minutes and Thunderbird 2 shortly afterwards. We've got to prepare some obscure places for all the machines and equipment. Right, my lady. I'll go and prepare them now, shall I? You do that. I'll continue to stand by. Call me if you need me. Yes, my lady. <laughs> Lieutenant Green? Yes, sir. Send Captain Scarlet and Captain Blue here right away. Yes, sir. Captain Scarlet, Captain Blue, Colonel White wants to see you. We're coming. We're coming. Captain Scarlet, Captain Blue. Yes, Colonel. Yes, Colonel. You'd better fly down to Lady Penelope's immediately to assist International Rescue. See if they want any help. Yes, Colonel. We'll leave in the Spectrum passenger jet now. Good luck. SIG, Colonel. <laughs> Well, now to hold the press conference. Good. Thunderbird 1 and the first of the six parts of Thunderbird 2 all here. Right. Well, that probably ought to do the trick, I think, Parker. Absolutely, Malady. The Ud nor the Mistrons will never find the Thunderbird machines down there. And the only thing we can use for now is Fab 1. Good thing it was rebuilt and updated. Well done, Brains. Thanks. Well, Virgil shall be here with the next of the pods any moment. I'll prepare the hatch for them, now. Thanks, Brains. It's a pleasure to have you helping us, Penelope. Thanks, Scott. The original Fab One's demise made us quite vulnerable for a while. Yeah, well, 
The hood forcing us to reveal our identity has now made us all vulnerable. I do wonder what's going to happen when this crisis is over, but whatever happens, I... I... I can't bear to be apart from you. What did you say? It doesn't matter. The point is I... Well... Uh... Perhaps I could go get you some tea whilst you're waiting for Thunderbird 2 to arrive. Oh, oh yes. That will be really great of you, Parker. Two sugars, please. Same, please. <laughs> <laughs> Scott from Virgil. Are we clear to land? Virgil from Scott. Now what? You've successfully managed to hack into Thunderbird 5's electronic cloak. However, those pigs have not replied since I sent that message. We don't know what they're doing right now. But even if they're still there, I suggest you go and destroy the base as well. We warned them what would happen if they did nothing. How do we do that? Go to England and take over the London Missile Base. Use the missiles to destroy Thunderbird 5 and base. As you wish. Our plan is working. Now all we need to do is wait until International Rescue. Good to see you, John. It sure is. Hope the satellite won't get destroyed. Well, there's no time to chat. We gotta get moving. Come on! Captain Black to the road. We have set coordinates for the missiles to destroy the required places. Excellent! Well, what are you waiting for? Destroy! As you wish. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, fire! Alan, here comes a missile! Right. Hold tight, everyone! Right, that's the last of all the pods and equipment. A missile!
least everyone and everything got out, in the nick of time. Thunderbird 5 and Tracy Island successfully destroyed. Right. Come back to my temple and take care of the hostages. As you wish. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, International Rescue has recently been said to have destroyed one of their aircraft and kidnapped six UK hostages. We don't know exactly what happened, but the fact that there's been no sign of them since suggests that something bad has happened to them. However, I have with me today someone who claims to know the true story. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Millionaire ex-astronaut, Jeff Tracy. Good evening, everyone. I'm here to set the record straight regarding international rescue. Yes, well, I'm more than outraged by what they have done. Never trusted those Why would they do this? What an absolute... This is yes, sir. They don't what deserve to be so so all this business. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Please. Thank you. I am as outraged by this whole thing as you are, but I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart that indeed International Rescue wouldn't destroy their sixth Thunderbird. Well, maybe, but that's beside the point. Nor would they kidnap six hostages. They are being framed by an enemy that's been after them since their formation. But Mr. Tracy, International Rescue is a secret organization. How do you know of this? Because... Because... Well, uh, I don't know how to say this, but, but the time has come for me to tell you all, tell you, tell you that I'm a part of International Rescue, the man in charge. <gasps> Did you, you just, just say, say that? What the blazes? He? The man in charge? Everyone, please. I'm sorry, Mr. Tracy. But it seems that you are a vigilante, possibly part of a criminal organization. I must ask you to accompany me to the station. Anything you say will be taken down, and may be used in evidence. Scott from Virgil. I've got the last pod and the last lot of equipment, including Thunderbird 4. <laughs> Excellent, Virgil. Brains has just finalized the stand for you now, and is working on the stand of Thunderbird 3. By the way, our base got destroyed just after I left. Yeah, well, it was to be expected. Anyway, you're clear to land. F-A-B, Scott. Well, Brains, I gotta hand it to you. That new device you fitted into Thunderbird 2 last week to enable the craft to roll back into its hangar without any of the parts attached was just great. Thanks. Scott from Allen, receiving you loud and clear. We heard the explosion on Thunderbird 5 early on. Is John alright? He's fine. Just upset over the loss of Thunderbird 5. Is my stand ready? Grace will work on it as soon as Thunderbird 2 is lowered into the ground. Good. I'll be there in five minutes, okay? FIB, Alan. Okay, Brains. I'm out. Right, Virgil? Captain Blue to International Rescue England. Can you hear us? International Rescue England, Lady Penelope speaking. What, your ladyship? Listen, can I speak to any of the boys? At once. Scott? Captain Blue, this is Scott Tracy. We've almost finished burying all of the Thunderbirds in their obscure places. Just Thunderbird free to go and we're done. What can we do for you? 
I'm here with Captain Scarlet, and we're on our way to you. That's right. We thought we might be of some use to you. Very well, Captain Scarlet. Land in, uh... A grassy stretch just outside the mansion would do. A grassy stretch just outside the mansion. Thanks, Scott. We'll be touching down any second now. Ow. <laughs> Reigns, is the stand for Thunderbird 3 ready? Uh, yes, Scott. The uh, stand for Thunderbird 3 is uh, ready. Excellent. Scott? Alan? We're coming in now. Is Brains ready? Yes, Alan, he is. You are clear to land. Right. <laughs> Enjoy your stay, Mr. Tracy. Thanks. <sighs> what now? With me in jail, there could be many other men and women's lives at stake. And we'll be powerless to help them. I do wonder how the boys are getting. What an excellent dinner. Yeah, I've got to thank you, your ladyship. And you, Lillian, for making all this. It was nothing, Captain Scarlet. Anyway, I reckon it's the best meal I've made that you all like. Even you, nosy. Hey, little manners. Don't address me like that when we've got members of Spectrum here. It's all right, Parker, that'll do. Anyway, I am impressed with this meal. So am I. At least it helps us take our mind off our grief over the loss of the satellite and of our home. I don't want to talk about it. How could we possibly carry on being International Rescue if this keeps happening? Well, I don't know. This Hood guy is obviously putting the entire organization in jeopardy. Framing us for destroying the tiger and kidnapping those hostages indeed. Okay, Alan, that's enough. I would agree that we don't know what will happen when this is over. As a matter of fact, I wonder what Father is doing now in this crisis. He did say he was going to set up this press conference, did he not? That's right. But that's against the established rules when the organization formed. On the other hand, he thought it was probably the only way to try and clarify the truth to the world. But, yeah, I do wonder what has happened to him. He's certainly not been in contact with us since. Well, maybe we'll find out the answer in the morning. It's very late and we should get settled down for the night. Good point there, Tintin. Parker? Yes, m'lady? You'd better go and arrange the beds for our guests. Yes, m'lady. What do you suppose might have happened to my son, Scott? I don't know, Grandma. But I think we'll find out. I just hope he's not in grave danger from... you know who. The Hod? Yes. <laughs> Gods have taken away my accessories. If only I could get in contact with the boys. Mr. Tracy, you got some visitors. Have I now? Oh yes. Me. Jeff Tracy. I've been waiting a long time.
Justice be guessed. Dad has been arrested and taken into custody. Well now what do we do? We go out there to try and rescue him. Anything could be happening there. But Scott, surely he's being questioned and put on trial. Well, maybe. But what about the Hood or any of the Mistrons, eh? They won't be standing by and doing nothing after the arrest. I say we go at top speed to the prison, get down out of there, then we track down the Hood's temple in Malaysia, and rescue those poor victims and give proof that international rescue is entirely innocent from this whole monstrosity. Agreed? Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Right. John, you stay here at the mansion and look after Kirano and Grandma. Right, Scott. Are you sure that's right, Mr. Scott? Don't worry, Parker. I think I know how to look after things by now. I've spent most of my time in the sunlight doing nothing but monitoring distress calls. I'll be okay. Lady Penelope? Yes, Scott? Get Parker to prepare Fab 1. I'm coming with you. I heard that, Mr. Scott. Getting the rolls out now. Well done, Parker. Virgil, Gordon, Alan, Tintin, Brains. You go with Captain Scarlet and Captain Blue in the passenger jet. F.A.B. F-A-B Scott. Scott. Right, let's jump to it. Gone down now. Do you think you can get out of it like that? Why are you doing this? Me, you doing this? I'll tell you why I'm doing this, Mr. Jeff Tracy. Because you and your boys have spoiled my plans and have tried to kill me. That's only if there is no other option and if you try to kill us first. Don't try and be clever with me, Jeff. You tried to kill me too many times already. That's always been your attitude. Now look here. I tried to take photographs of Thunderbird 1. You sent Lady Penelope to kill me. I hypnotized Quran to sabotage the automatic camera detector. You? You hypnotized Quran to sabotage the automatic camera detector? Oh yes. He's my half he had those dizzy spells because of me. How else would brains and Tintin fall into the lake and master trap? How would Tony and Bob Williams get trapped? How else would the bomb be placed in the fire flash landing gear? But please. How else would those assassins get paid to kill the real crew of Skyship One? Then ultimately try and kill you all. Paid those agents to send that fake message. Jeff, I want you to send Thunderbirds 1 and 2 to a disused airfield 10 miles south of Casablanca. Ensure that Brains is aboard. How did you know our names? Because I telepathically scanned your base. That's how. Anyway, the real reason I'm doing this is because... Look what you've done to me! Not a pretty sight, is it? All thanks to you and your boys. During the second Zero X's launch, you sent Lady Penelope to shoot down my helicopter. It crashed. There was a massive oil leakage. Now tell me, 
Mr. Tracy. Do you really call that saving lives? You're about to endanger them. You could have destroyed the Zero X. You'll never be anything more than dirty little pigs. You and your sons. And now, it's time for me to show you the pain that you've given me. Now tell me the real reason why you do this to people like me. I've already told you. No other option. You are a liar! No, I'm not. Tell me, or I will leave you and everybody in this prison to die. The world will sue you as an international rescue fugitive, committed suicide, and killed everybody in this prison. Hard, oh, don't be stupid. The truth I've given you is clear as crystal. Now turn off the bar. You have 30 seconds before I leave you behind. Hood, turn off the bomb now. Think about what you're doing. You have 20 seconds. Hood, turn off the bloody bomb. 15 seconds. What are you tell me now? What are you doing? Now I ask you Ten one seconds. more time. Turn it off the Seven. bomb. Six. Turn five, it off now. Four. Three. Two. Turn it one. off. Right! You must for it! Ugh. Scott from Fab 1 to Spectrum Passenger Jet. Spectrum Passenger Jet. Scott, I can hear you. As you can probably see, we are approaching the prison now. I say that Parker, Penelope, and I will go in and rescue Jeff, and the rest of you land somewhere else and meet me when we've got it. SIG, Scott. Or should I say, FAB. Mr. Tracy! Mr. Tracy! Father! Dad! M Mr. Tracy! Dad! No! Dad! Jeff! He's dead! Oh. <laughs> I can see the hope just to end with ID, Mr. Scott. He's living in some kind of dream. Right, Parker. Let's go and get it! Captain Scarlet, Captain Blue, the Hood is escaping in some kind of plane. We're going after them! Okay, Scott. Coming up right behind you. Angels help us. I'll contact Cloudbase. Okay, Captain Scarlet. The Angels will be with you shortly. Lieutenant Green? Yes, sir. Launch all Angels. Angel 1, immediate launch. SIG. Angels 2 and 3, immediate launch. Attention all angels, I want you to seek out an aircraft that the Hood is piloting. It will be followed by a flying Rolls Royce and the Spectrum passenger jet. I want you to keep it circled so it doesn't get away. Don't destroy it unless we or International Rescue tell you to. Right, Lieutenant. What the? What the noises? What's going on? I'm still heading to my temple. Something's wrong. Hood to Captain Black. Hood to Captain Black. Are you receiving me? Hood to Captain Black. Are you receiving me? Captain Scarlet to Cloudbase. Not unclear, Captain Scarlet. What's up? The angels will be there to assist you soon. 
The hood's plane is starting to fly very oddly. In what way? I don't know. It's still heading the same way. And at the same time, it's being drawn off course. Well, keep following him anyway. He mustn't get away. That is pretty much what I was thinking, Colonel. You better inform the angels. Make them aware of what's happening. As I do, Captain. It shall be done. Lieutenant Green? Yes, sir. Do the honours, would you? Attention all angels. Be wary of the Hood's plane flying a bit oddly. But keep pursuing him. He mustn't get away. Right, Lieutenant. Hood to Captain Black. Hood to Captain Black. Are you receiving me? Why doesn't he answer? Come on. Come on! Control it! I'm going to crash! One thing for it! He's out! Fab 1 to Spectrum passenger jet. The Hood has escaped his plane. You find his temple and rescue the hostages. Me and Lady Penelope will find the Hood. Okay, Scott. Right. Starting to trace the Hood's temple now. Captain Scarlet to all angels. I want you to follow us to the Hood's temple and help us rescue the hostages. Okay, Parker. You must follow exactly where the Hood is going. We must get him at all costs! Yes, Mr. Scott. Right, Parker. Lady Penelope and I will go out to the Hood. Okay, Mr. Scott. What about me? Go to the Hood's temple and join the others in their attempt to rescue the hostages. Okay, Mr. Scott. Good luck. Okay, Penelope. Let's go and get the Hood. Right. Right. Come on, everyone. Let's go and rescue those hostages. Everybody, this way! There they are. No sign of Captain Black, though. All of you, this is International Rescue and the Spectrum Organization. We've come to rescue you. Captain Scarlet, Captain Blue, Angels, you'd better go and look around to make sure no Mr. Ons are around. I know you might not be able to see them, but... Yeah, I know. Come on, all of you. Boys, sort out the hostages. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! There's no sign of him, Scott. I know, Penelope. Just keep looking. We can't afford to lose him. Well, where did you see him land? I don't know, Penelope. Somewhere in this part of the forest. Anyway, when we do find him, we've got to take him to the authorities and tell them the truth. He framed us, made the whole world think we're criminals, destroyed one of our crafts, destroyed our base, and... <sighs> Killed Dad. <gasps> Which is what will happen to you and everyone else by the time I'm finished with you. Now don't move a muscle. One move and one of you will die. So this is what has been happening. So, the Hood kidnapped us in order to frame you? That's an outrage! That's a massive outrage! He and that guy in black should be ashamed of themselves. No kidding. Absolutely terrible. You said it. So what are you going to do now? We're going to get you out of here. 
And then we are going to explain to the authorities what has been happening whilst you were in the gruesome hand of this maniac. That's right. We've just got to get our story straight. Everyone! Parker? Any more information about Scott? No! He's not been in contact with me since I left even her ladyship to find the hood. I'd better get in contact with him. Virgil to Scott. Virgil to Scott. Come in, please. Virgil to Scott. Virgil to Scott. Come in, please. He doesn't answer. Virgil to Scott. Virgil to Scott. Come in, please. Well, I hope he's not in trouble. In the meantime, I think we should get out of here while we still can. Come on! Not so fast! If you think you're just gonna get away that easily, think again! Captain Black, where have you been? I just got distracted. What do you mean? Anyway, deal with this, guys. It's time for me to finish what I started. This is John Tracy calling all the boys. This is John Tracy calling all the boys. Can you hear me? Uh, it's no good. I can't get in touch with them. I hope they're all right. Even Jeff. Well, I hope so too, Grandma. But I'm gravely fearing the worst will happen with the boys at the moment. John! Mrs. Tracy! You're on. I have read this terrible news report. Let me see that. International rescue member taken into custody committed suicide by destroying the prison and killing everyone in it? But that means... Dad. What is it, John? I'm sorry, Grandma. But... He's dead. Dad's dead. The Hood's killed him! I mean... Chef? International rescue. Gathered for the end. Gathered for the end indeed. Trying to get your hands on our secrets was bad enough. But killing our father is cold-blooded murder. That's the worst thing you could ever do to us. Well, so is the fact that you tried to kill me. Don't keep saying that. Well, he's right. My brother's right. Killing our father was the worst thing you could do. You had this plan set up for quite some time, didn't you? I see now that it was you who drove that Fireflash airliner, of course. Crashing it into the Jurassic Skyline Tower in Weymouth, of all places. So what? You think what I'm trying to do now does not deserve to happen? After what you've done to me? Good grief. Great heavens, blooming yet. Son of a... Oh, my... Right. What an unpleasant sight! Destroy me, pink! Heavens above! Great Scott! Name of Perseus! Caught blimey! Great fires of love! Holy Moses! Stone the crows! Yes. This is what I look like now. Do you really think that was the right thing to do? Make me look like this? Hey guys, look at the state of me. I mean, you, Tintin. My niece. Look into my eyes. Niece? Niece? I'm your niece? Of course. I knew I knew you in some way. When you tried to hypnotize me and brains during the Anastar expedition. You? You did this? Yes, I did. You always stopped me becoming rich. Anyway. 
It's all over now. You will soon meet your deaths. Just like you tried to do to me too many times already. The world will remember you as criminals. Victims of future disasters will die. Let the demise of international rescue commence. Captain Black, kill them! Well, Captain Black, I'm waiting! Kill them! Are you dead? I said, kill them! Your orders are irrelevant. Irrelevant? What do you mean? We may know about each other, but it's not our job to kill your arch enemies, nor is it your job to kill ours. What the? You... You betrayed me? Where have you been? Why were you late? Where I or any of the Vistrons were is not important. What's important is that even though you have those incredible powers to hypnotize people and things like that, you are still a human being. And human beings are our enemy. And yes, we Vistrons were the ones that drove your plane off course. What did you do that for? What? No! Captain Black, whatever you do, don't shoot me! Why not? Because you become so mortally weak and disfigured. Your powers are so low that one bullet and you will die? Yes. Now I beg you, don't kill me! Kill that lot! Kill your own enemy! Not under your commands. What? No! The hostages are getting away! Stay where you are, but... Never! They are my enemies! Come on, everyone. Let's get out of here. Oh, no, you don't! Captain uh, Scarlet! Uh, 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 you think you can stop me? Well, you're wrong, you pigs. You're the most puny, pathetic people I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to kill you all now! What about Captain Scarlet? Oh, he'll be fine. He's one man fate has made indestructible, remember? Are you alright, Alan? What do you think? Ah! I've been shot in the arm! Yes! Soon you'll be filled with even more pain! No, but... You will. No, Captain Black! Don't! Don't! No! Powers to be like this. Ah! Curse international rescue. Curse their stupid dead father. Curse my treacherous half brother. Curse those arrogant hostages. And to hell with all those misterons! I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I think we need to get out of here now. What? Out! Now! Go! Beat it! Come on! Everyone, 
Take cover! Those must have been really strong powers. Indeed they were. Indeed they were. Well, I guess that's the last we'll see of the hood. My half-uncle, out in a blaze of fire. Hey, what about Captain Black? Probably more than likely to have escaped. I guess he and the Mistrons are going to confirm their next threat to us in the not-too-distant future. Ah! Uh. So what's the next step? Well, there are several things we should do in this situation. You, Alan, and Captain Scarlet, I think need medical attention. It's okay, Scott. I'll take Alan and Captain Scarlet to the sick bay on cloud base. Dr. Fawn is an excellent medical doctor. He'll be bound to have them healed within hours. Thanks, Captain Blue. Anyway, we've also got to organize what our new base is going to be and things like that. But most importantly, we need to let people know the truth, in memory of our father. This is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, Mr. Tracy, it looks like you've been cleared of any wrongdoing. I only hope this maniac of yours won't cause any more trouble. Oh, he won't. His ally betrayed and killed him. This ally is probably somewhere in the world with the Mistrons organizing their next threat to mankind. Yeah, well it's Spectrum's problem to sort out the Mistrons, not yours. Yeah, it is. So, what now? Well, obviously your father was put under severe pressure during this terrible time. I think that you guys should become a public organization we can trust. I would agree that no one should have the right to know how your superb equipment is made, or the location of your base. But I think over the last four years, you've rescued people. You deserve to be well known. I don't know if your father would have agreed, or approved of this, but... In the light of recent events, I suppose he would agree. Well, we've got our work to do. First, we've got to return the hostages to where they belong. And then, sort out our base so we can be operational again. Well, Mr. Tracy, you guys at International Rescue seem to do a better job than the normal rescue organizations. But they'll do their best until you are operational again. You may leave now. Mark, this is where we say goodbye. Thanks, Mr. Tracy. I'm sorry for the loss of your farm. I wish you luck with your rebuilding and designs for a new Thunderbird 6. Also, well, it's just great that you guys have been cleared. Yeah. Well, sorry you had to go for all this. Goodbye, Mark. Look after yourself. Guys, it's great that you've been cleared. It certainly is. Sorry about all this. At least you got me back home safely. That's the most important thing. Farewell, Zachary. Bye! Thanks, guys. Sorry you've been through this whole experience. Don't worry, Mr. Tracy. Look after yourself, Andrew. Sorry about this, Christopher. Never mind, Mr. Tracy. The important thing is, I'm back safely. Of course. Bye, Christopher. Thanks, you guys. I'm so grateful you got me back here safely. Look after yourself, Olivia. Thanks, guys. I thank you for your invaluable help. Glad to be of service. Cheerio, Patrick.
Alan, Captain Scholar, and Captain Blue of Spectrum to see you, my lady. Alan, is he okay, Parker? Why don't you ask him yourself? They're coming here. Hi, everyone. Alan! Alan. How are you feeling now, Alan? Much better now, thank you, Tintin. Dr. Fawn's treatment has really worked a treat. My arm is still sore, as you can see, but I should be better soon. How about you, Captain Scarlet? Oh, I'm fine, Scott. As me and Spectrum always say, I am one man fate has made indestructible. So, what are you guys going to do now? Well, I and the victims went along to the police to get our story straight, and I think I can safely say we've all been cleared. That's correct. They've even said, and I agree with them, that we deserve to be well known rather than remain secret. Although people still shouldn't have the right to find out the secrets of our machines or the location of our base. Are you sure? I'm sure. Well, I suppose we better be off. You've got to sort out your organization. And well, we all at Spectrum must continue our fight against the Mysterons. We wish you luck, Captain Scarlet. Ironic thing, isn't it? Having your names match your costumes. Ah, yes. Well, long story. You see, those are our Spectrum names. It is unacceptable to call members at Spectrum by their real names. Between you guys, me and Captain Blue, I am Paul Metcalf. Yeah, and I'm Adam Svensson. We know new things every day, don't we? Well, thank you, Paul. Thank you, Adam. Give our thanks to everyone else at Spectrum. We'll do that. Right. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Well, now what do we do? Well, like I said, we've got to sort out this organization. Crying Ward Mansion here will be our new base. But I will talk more about that in a moment. Another important thing is... What? Go on, tell them. Tell us what? Well, to tell you the truth, and I suppose I should have told you earlier, but... Lady Penelope and I are going to get married. What? What? I knew something suspicious was going on between you two. We didn't. You never told us you had feelings for Lady Penelope. Did you, Scott? This is why I'm telling you now. Yesterday, Penelope did me the honor to agree to be my wife. And I gave her the engagement ring that she's wearing now. I guess you were too busy to notice it in the crisis. Well, anyway, as well as sorting ourselves out, we are going to organize a wedding between Penelope and I. In that case, me and Tintin will do it as well, won't we, Tintin? Well, uh, I, uh... You and Tintin? This is unbelievable. I know, Gordon. But at least we knew something went on between Alan and Tintin for quite some time. Well, now this is probably the time for me and Tintin to actually go ahead and do it. At least that ring I bought in India during the Skyship one voyage came in useful. I thought it went up in a blaze with Skyship. I kept it in my pocket because I knew that even though Alan said managers were out of the question, I knew that eventually this would happen. So, what do you think, Scott? Lady Penelope? A double wedding? Alright, a double wedding it is, and we'll be inviting certain international rescue agents from all over the world, as well as a few good friends of ours, and well-known rescue victims. But we've got lots of work to do first. So, how is our new base here going to work? Well, Brains and I have been talking, haven't we, Brains? Uh, that's right, uh, Scott. And we think how it will work out is this. The launch base of Thunderbirds 1, 2, and 3, hidden in the ground next to the mansion, will be exactly the same as they were before. Thunderbird 4 will still go through its Thunderbird 2 procedures, particularly with it still being in part 4 of that particular ground. Should Thunderbird 2 be out of action, a new device fitted into Thunderbird 1 will ensure it be taken to the rescue operation. We rebuilt Thunderbird 5. Although the design will be similar, it won't be a space satellite. It'll be a radio telescope in an obscure part of the fields that will transmit messages of distress calls to a special mobile that John will receive at any time no matter what. It will also be fitted with a much stronger cloaking device than on the original Thunderbird 5, so that no one, not even the Mysterons, can hack into it. Wow! So that means I get to be with you guys doing things rather than just being up there all alone monitoring distress calls? That's right. 
Your social life has not been very good over the last four years. What about Thunderbird 6? It may have been a stupid old tiger moth, but in some ways, instead of vital craft, I was just going to that, Thunderbird 6 will be very similar to the original tiger, but far more advanced than you could possibly ever imagine. How so? Thunderbird 6 will be a spy plane. A spy plane? But Scott, we're not spies, we're rescuers. What's the point of needing one? Well, Gordon, in an age of ever-increasing violence and chaos, we need to know more about the situations we're putting ourselves into. I think I'll leave Brains to talk about the design. Ah. Well, uh, I, I thought that an uh, Aurora spy plane w would be a very good idea, P providing I reduce the scale to fit inside the pod of Thunderbird 2. It's a big plane, you know. Uh, a few updates will be given. Long-range radar, top-of-the-range surveillance equipment, and distraction lasers. And here's one more thing. Brains and I will make sure that Thunderbird 6 goes at a high speed, so that it can still make it to the rescue operation, even if there is a problem with Thunderbird 2 and things like that. So, this is what we plan to do. gathered here today on behalf of God and in the face of this company of witnesses to join together these men and these women in holy matrimony. Hey. Father! Jack! Dad! Mr. Tracy! Father! Father! Jack! Tracy! You're alive. We thought you were dead. Now how the places did you survive that explosion? You're not a Mr. Important, are you? Of course I'm not. Earthman. Oh, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> oh, you had me going there for a second, Dad. <laughs> I sure did. Now, I'm sure you all want to know how I escaped the explosion. And why it has taken me so long to get here. Yes. Please. Well, I'll say that this Captain Black, working for the Mistrons, is apparently not completely devoid of humanity. Or else, just wanted to spy the hood. He used some kind of teleportation device to zap me out of there. I didn't know where I was. Oh my gosh, Jeff. Where did you end up? Well, you wouldn't believe it. But I ended up in the middle of Portugal. Portugal? Yeah, that's right. With no phone or car, I had to walk for days to get to the nearest town. I've only just come back. Well, it's good to have you back, Dad. I'm afraid we all thought you were... You know, that's a nice guy. I thought I was too. But I'm back now and I understand that we've all been cleared. We will no longer need to operate in secret from now on. I'm sorry, Dad. Should we not be? Oh no. In fact, I've been listening to the news on the train here. And I understood everything. So what do you think of our new base, Father? Well, boys, I think I can safely say you all did a swell job. I'm proud of you. And I'm also proud of what you're doing now. Really? Yes, really. Anyway, do carry on. You know what, Vicar? Maybe we should just skip to the, uh, to the I do. Oh. Okay, then. Scott Tracy. Do you wish to marry Lady Penelope? I do. Alan, do you wish to marry Tintin? I do. Will you love them, respect them, 
and be faithful to them forever? We will, we will. Lady Penelope Creighton Ward, do you wish to take the hand of Scott in holy matrimony? I do. Tintin Kirano, do you wish to take the hand of Alan in holy matrimony? I do. Will you love them, respect them, and be faithful to them forever? We will, we will. John, Kirano, the rings. Of course, Your Reverence. Oh. Here you are, Scott. You thanks, John. Gee, thanks, Kirano. Go ahead, Scott. Alan, one at a time. With this ring, I give you myself. All that I have, and all that I am. With this ring, I give you myself. All that I have, and all that I am. With this ring, I give you myself. All that I have, and all that I am. With this ring, I give you my son. All that I have, and all that I am. And now you've made these promises before God and before those gathered here. I declare that you both are joined in marriage as husbands and wives. May the peace of the Lord be with you. You both may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I now proudly present Sir Scott Tracy and Lady Penelope Creighton Ward and Alan and Tintin Tracy. Oh. I'm sorry about this, everyone. But this is what happens when you are part of International Rescue. This is International Rescue. John Tracy speaking. How can we help you? Yes? 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 Hey, mate. We'll be on our way. Well, there's a distress call requiring immediate action, Scott, and we'll need all Thunderbirds. Okay, John. Let's get to it. Sorry, Your Reverence. Judy Collins. Of course it does. I'm quite right. Ha <laughs> ha 